on the budget yatra with ndtv prophet i am neeraj shah and we are talking to a sector which is you could argue for you could be forgiven for believing that it's in the formative stage or maybe it is but it's a very crucial sector the semiconductor sector and we have with us on this conversation today ragu panikar of kane semicon vijay muktamat of sensemi technologies and of course with us on this whole yatra gurmeet chadda of complete circle gurmeet thanks so much for being with us all through pleasure, pleasure yeah okay ragu can i start with you and uh, what is it that you think that the government needs to do within the purview of the budget to help expedite the transformation that we're seeing in the semiconductor industry in india um, so i like the fact that you mentioned uh, you know semiconductor is in its formative years which necessarily means uh, i am 35 years into the experience in semiconductor i am in my formative years of my working i mentioned you could be forgiven sure. for believing like that <laughs> sure sure so having said that uh, you know i mean at least from the semiconductor industry a couple of a uh, couple of clear requirements uh, from the finance minister and the prime minister and, and all of that a uh, uh, 50 billion dollar investment as the phase 2 in ism 2.0 second could be an investment in design linked initiative third could be a big look factor into the into the raw material the equipments and all of that investment that they want to bring in and we would want this to be incorporated in the in the budget that is coming in okay fair call thanks for that ragu and now vijay uh, to you and uh, sense me in some sense a young company but getting into the space doing some critical stuff link your thoughts to what ragu just said what is it that you anticipate and uh, and if you can take off from where he left off as well do you anticipate anticipate or wish for some of these things to come absolutely neeraj where ragu comes from from the manufacturing angle and semiconductor has basically two parts one is the fabless the other one is fab and india is doing fantastically for fab side of things and india is doing fantastically for um, you know on the fabless side but there are few things which india has to be proactively working towards the fabless because at end of the day if you just bring in the manufacturing and if you don't have fabless ecosystem to feed them then it's going to be a big game changer or a lower side of it so this is where i would say that you know India has taken a grant in terms of taking one step towards the fabless semiconductor with DLI coming in. DLI 1.0 is a fantastic start um, into the history. Whereas you know, 10 years back there was nothing. To, people used to talk about potato chips. If you talk about semiconductor chips, right? So that's been the era now where each and every day you're seeing chips coming in. So now this has to take into the next level. What it means? So India has to come up with a lot of DLI 2.0. which is for us like us and then there are two other things which also matters right till now we've been into r&d phase now we are going to see the production happening and this is where the customs aspects have to be brought in as part of policy change altogether point number 2 point number 3 there is also certain part of startup ecosystem coming in and a lot of these companies including sensemi pivoted itself to become a semiconductor in the national interest and this is where the dipet and other ministries have to come together to support the startups okay so well some of these could happen in the budget some of these could be outside the budget gurmeet you look at the budget document very closely you look at the kind of finances that the government has and the choices that it has to make to allocate these finances within different industries but this one would come right on top per se absolutely in fact i would say like government did uh, jandhan i think semiconductor is that critical uh you know it because it brings economic security it cushions you from what is happening geopolitically and as ragu rightly said i would i would probably envisage a 10 year policy framework because the gestation periods are long spoken about in the budget yeah hmm. so you know give a long gestation period when you are doing let's say ism 2.0 talk about slightly long term vision what we are what the government is going to do also the component ecosystem because you know why china has done well whether it is ev or semiconductor is how you build the ecosystem you know around the the components the pcbs the converters etc third adding to his point the r and d you know oh. the innovation hub can we incubate few, few more innovation centers in iits have an r and d budget little bit more maybe tax friendly treatment uh to the r&d activities in this space so i think it has to be right on the top in, in my view uh, something as critical as you know what what jandhan was or something like when we started on new energy 